Hey Dick, what's happening? Oh, uh, hi Bill, come on in. Well, Bill, take a seat. Bill. Well, I'll get straight to the point. I examined your last period numbers of your department, Dirty Banana. It leaves a lot to be desired, Bill. You didn't reach the budget numbers. What are you planning to do about that? <laughs> Come on, Dick. Are you serious? <laughs> we, we just made a lot of uh, improvements. Uh, by the way, what, what numbers did you review? Well, Bill, just have a look for yourself. We are missing 84,000 euros of revenues. That's 6%. Okay, you made some improvements in the cost, but your operating profit is six and a half thousand euros lower than budget. You know what, Bill? That's more than 78,000 euros a year. Well, Dick, I see it. But we're looking at the actuals compared with the static budget. The static budget is based on the planned output level for this period, but developed in the last period. If we make some adjustments based on the changes of the actual output in this period, we can get more insight in the numbers. Now can I show you? Ok, let's start. Here are the numbers in some more detail. When I subtract the budget operating profit of 40,780 from the actual operating profit of 34,250, I get the same variance of 6530 euros. I call this variance unfavorable because this variance has an unfavorable effort on the operating profit. By the way, this variance is called the static budget variance. We can calculate this variance in total, the level 0 analysis, or for all the lines, the level 1 analysis. Now let's develop a flexible budget. So the flexible budget makes adjustments based on the changes on the actual output. So how many cans of 10 liter dirty banana, our revenue driver, are sold? Well, that's 8000 cans. Now I have to find the budgeted selling price per unit. First, what is the budgeted quantity of dirty banana? Well, that's 8400 cans. Let's bring in the static budget. The total revenue of the static budget of 1,596,000 euros divided by the budgeted quantity of 8,400 cans gives us a budgeted selling price of 190 euros. Now I can calculate the flexible budget revenue. The actual quantity of the revenue driver is 8,000. 8,000 times 190 euro makes 1,520,000 euros. Well, I don't have the static budget numbers per cost category to calculate the tariffs. So I asked our management accountant to give me the standard cost per cost category for one 10 liter can of dirty banana. The cost driver is the actual quantity cans of dirty banana. So 8,000 times the tariffs gives us a flexible budget for a variable cost. Here we fill in the flexible budget revenue, and here we fill in the flexible budget for the variable costs. The fixed costs, well the fixed costs we can copy from the fixed budget. When we subtract the flexible budget from the actuals, we get the flexible budget variance. You see the terms favorable and unfavorable to show if the variance is favorable or unfavorable in its efforts on operating profit. Always present these terms, otherwise the variance numbers are more difficult to interpret for the reader. Because some lines depict proceeds, like the revenues, contribution margin and operating profit, and other lines depict costs. The minus signs are not necessary in presenting the variances, but they are useful for checking the correctness of the calculations. By the way, this is a level 2 analysis. Let's wrap up the numbers. First we had the static budget, with a predicted operating profit 
of 40,780 euros. Then we confronted the static budget with the actual profit of 34,250, what gives us an unfavorable static budget variance of 6,530. Thereafter, we developed the flexible budget of 38,500. The flexible budget variance, the difference between the actual profit and the flexible budget, gave us an unfavorable flexible budget variance of 4,000. 250. Still, we have one variance to go, the sales volume variance. This is the difference between the flexible budget operating profit and the profit of the fixed budget. Remember that both types of budget use the budgeted unit revenue. So the sales volume variance arises solely because we sold 400 less than the budgeted 8400 cans dirty banana. When we put the variances together, we see that the static budget variance of the operating profit is now split into two categories, the flexible budget variance and the sales volume variance. Then there is another variance left, the selling price variance. The revenue from the flexible budget shows 1,520,000 and the actual revenues are 1,512,000 euros. The difference between the two is 8,000. The selling price variance can be computed by multiplying the difference in selling price with the actual quantity sold. 190 minus 189 times 8000. Yeah, 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 Bill. Very impressive. But I still don't know why you didn't reach the budget numbers. Can I get some reasons? Did I say I was ready with the analysis? Tomorrow I'll be back. Then I will make an analysis of the flexible budget variance and then I will split the direct costs in efficiency variance and price variance. Well, see this video. Well, if you like this video or you want to see more of these videos, please put the thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching again. Bye bye. My name is Oge van der Roon.